What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Next Win Podcast with your host, Aunt Ma, co-host Justin Fasur, lender guest, uh, William Wynn. Uh, guys, last episode, we talked about down payments. Right now, we're going to talk about closing costs. Mm. Everyone never knows what these two things are, and we want to be very transparent yes. and uh, help you no guys surprises. out. Uh, so, William, you are the lender. What are closing costs? Closing costs is what it costs to close your loan. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? So basically, uh, closing costs is, of course, lenders always, there's a lender fee, right? That doesn't pay me. It pays all the processors, underwriters and stuff. Um, and then there's t- uh, property taxes. Yeah. You, people get, probably, you own a property now. The, the government wants a piece of it. So property taxes, your homeowner's insurance is on there. Um, and then the uh, escrow and title fees. And when you're buying a house, unfortunately, you don't get to choose what company you use. The seller chooses that. So it can range from expensive to in- and to average. And what is this amount that's normal? Hmm. Oh, well, I would say 2 to 3% of your purchase, purchase okay. price. So if someone's yeah. buying a 500K home, how much is that? 500K, I would say about like 10, average 10 to 15,000. Okay. Wow. So in the last not, not, episode, I don't think that includes. It does not include your your your, your uh, the down payment. Okay. So in the last episode, we spoke about how much you need for down payment, which is like fourteen grand minimum. Yep. And now you're talking about how much another Double fifteen time. grand for closing costs. So you need a little bit less than thirty grand to buy a home. Yeah. So what, what did you say? Five hundred thousand. Yeah. Um, Justin has always been told you need twenty percent down to buy a home. Imagine having one hundred twenty thousand plus closing costs. Now we're talking about $135,000. Um, I don't want to buy a home anymore. Well, we're, now we're <laughs> saying you can buy a home with just thirty grand. Yeah. You know? So like on the good side, the 10000 closing costs. Okay. So, so twenty five yeah. grand maybe. Yeah. 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 Cool. Because we've uh, done it with twenty five grand. We did do a twenty five grand yeah. closing. Well, the total, interest. everything. Yeah. Yep. All in, twenty five grand. Yep. And uh, I, I'm so happy that we can get people that. Because there's yep. so many people who are like, I don't have money to get a home, but I want a home. I have kids, Mm -hmm. you know, and stuff like that. Like, they need a home. We need to be in a good school area and stuff like that. So it's about their family and their life. Yep. And they're like, I want to, I don't have money, but all I have is 30 grand. I'm going all in to buy this home. Yep. You know, so we've done that multiple times. Yep. You know, and I, and I have to make sure like, Hey, if you're going all in and clearing out your bank account for this, are you going to be okay in six months? Are you mm-hmm. going to be okay in one year? Because I don't want you to stress out and then have to sell your home. Yep. So a lot of things also people are like, uh, I can't afford a home because if I lose my job, that's it. Mm-hmm. Like, what am I going to do? Okay, here's the thing, guys. Uh, you can sell your home. You're not stuck with it forever. So if you go all in, yeah, you can sell your home. Obviously, you don't want to sell it when the market goes down. Yeah. The moment goes back up. Then you want to sell, so that means waiting it out for like a yeah. year from a bad time. I you think can also I think, rent it out. Yeah, yeah. So, so I think you one can. of our clients, yeah. she was, uh, I can, uh, like, we, we're gonna go all in. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rent the garage out, and you know, it was like an ADU in it. Yeah, make up the extra. So yeah. there's always ways yeah. around it. There's all these options. Um, so one good thing about okay, so if you're a seller uh, and you have closing costs, so what? What we're talking about previously, or just a minute ago, was closing costs for a buyer, right? Mm-hmm. Thirty grand f- to buy a home, yep. down payment plus closing costs. Yep. For a seller, if you're selling your home, closing costs are different because you don't have a loan, you don't have a lender, so you're skipping all that. Yep. All that money doesn't pertain to you, but what pertains in your closing costs are the escrow fees, any other types of taxes, could be some liens if you have liens, uh, and. The biggest one is your agent's commission as a seller. Yep. When the buyer, you don't have an agent's commission because the seller pays for it. So that's your closing cost as a seller. So the seller pays both commissions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They pay the, both agents' commissions. Yeah. Now, is the are you able to roll the closing cost into a loan? No. No. It just has to be upfront. Yes. So closing cost is out of your own pocket. It cannot be rolled into your loan. Do you oh. know how many clients tell me, hey? Uh, I know that I can roll this into the loan. My brother's done it. That's what they tell me. Mm, cannot. Maybe I think someone told us that. But yeah. That was like, like 30 years ago. Oh, I'm I like, see. Bro, like, you know what? Like, 30 years I mean, before the, the market crashed? 
Yeah. You know what I mean? uh, now you can't do it's that. It's very different now. Yeah. yeah. Now the banks want their money up front yes. for the work that they did. Yeah. So they, they're not going to roll it out because they don't lose money. So especially if you're paying, it, the, it's not the bank, you're paying escrow, the different company, property taxes. That's, that's, the, that's the county. I got a question about the property taxes and closing costs. Okay. What are what is this timeline of the property tax? Are you paying uh, your own property tax for the future of that year? Yeah. So basically, I can every county is different. I can talk, uh, I'm more familiar with LA and Orange County. So their your property taxes are due November and I think in March. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. Something like that. Two months. They cut half. They cut it half to make it easier. Uh, so what what you do when, whenever you close? Let's say you close in February. We have to collect, and when you we're we're gonna pay the property tax the lender, so we have to collect enough when we're closing it. We have to collect enough money to having that escrow account, so that when November comes, we have enough money to pay that to pay that those taxes due. So if you bought the house in February, you're we're paying collecting. property tax from February to November. Yeah, and we're collecting Januarys. Oh, so the whole year. Yeah, we we have to collect enough. We have to make sure we have enough in the account to pay your property tax when it comes due. I see. Yeah. So. Okay. For for November payment and then for March payment we have that extra three months or whatever. Okay. Yeah. So you're paying your own property tax. You're not yeah, paying so it's not, the sellers. So, yeah. So technically it's not it's not it's not a fee. Yeah. It is it's it's you have to pay so the taxes. A lot of people think that they're paying the seller's property. Taxes. No, it's your property so tax. Here's another thing. A lot of people get scared. They're like, "Damn, closing costs is like fifteen grand. I gotta. I'm losing fifteen grand. Mm, yeah. Well, you're not losing fifteen grand." Some of it is your property tax Majority that you're paying it, beforehand. Yep. Yeah. So you got to pay that no matter what. Yep. So you're not losing that money. And the homeowner's insurance. Right? Insur- yeah. And then the other thing also is part of closing costs can be uh, your first month's mortgage or even two months or three months. Interest. Yeah. So basically, uh, I always ask my clients, hey, uh, after you buy this home, when is your first mortgage due? Is it this coming month or the month after? And a lot of times it's the month after. Yep. So you also pay one month of mortgage ahead of time. So now you're including property tax and one month of mortgage in there. Yeah. So, so no free days. So basically your first official mortgage due date, say we buy what today? It's Jan- uh, July. It will be, if we, if we bought a house and we close this month, your first official mortgage due date is September. See, right. But, we, but in the closing cost, we already calculated the interest of August in it. So... There you go. Some people are like, man, that's what I'm saying. You just lost 15 grand. Yeah. No. no you're, you're paying already. Five grand of that is already going to property tax mm-hmm. and or even more. Yep. That is going to your home. Yep. So mm. it's actually not that much. No. Is there it's any not- way is there any way to not pay closing costs? There is. If you have a good agent and it's a good time in the market. Uh what do you mean by that? Well, actually there's two two ways. Uh, I know he has one, I have one. So as an agent, I can always negotiate. So uh, we did another episode, um, you know, like a week ago, where we talked about um, is after summer the best time to buy a home? Because usually it's during the summer. So from November to December, um, inventory slows down. People aren't selling because of the holidays. And so because people aren't selling, people aren't buying, the ones that do need to sell are in desperate need, which means that, they are willing to negotiate. So I during that time when I have those clients, I'm able to negotiate like 30 to 50K off the listed price. I'm also able to negotiate two on buy down programs. I'm also able to negotiate closing costs paid for by the seller. And the reason why the seller wants to do this is because no one's buying their home. Yeah. And so the prices are dropping and they're like, well, instead of doing a price drop for 30K, how about I keep the price the same and I'll give the 30K to the buyer and he could use it however he wants. Yeah. And that's where you use it for closing costs and anything, any special programs that you want. Because he's using this equity. So it's not paying out, like literally out of his own pocket. It is out of his own pocket, but not like it out is. of his checking account. Yeah. I, it's from his, the profit. It's just more strategy on the seller's yeah. part. They can be like, well, let's make it easy and I'll just drop it 30K. Uh, but most people are like, they don't look at it that way. They're still like, that's not going to help me that you drop the home 30K. I, it didn't do much for the loan. It's like a hundred bucks a month. I'd rather you give me thirty k, so I don't have to put upfront costs, take out all that money from a bank account, pay for closing costs, and all these things. Yeah. So, those are the times where we can negotiate free closing costs paid for by the seller, mm-hmm. and you don't have to do that. Now, another way is there are programs. 
Yes. Through the lender, like William. Yes, we have, well, at least in California, we have a cow half, a, uh, it's called Zip Loan. So basically, we can lend you, uh, oh, the, the, the program will lend you money to cover the clothing costs. And then it'll just be due at the end when you sell your house, basically. Whoa, right. that's When you dope. sell your house? Mm -hmm. What does yeah. the interest look like on Zero that? Per, I think uh, for the Zip Loan, like 1%. Uh, but it's it's just like one percent. It's, oh it's cheap. God. It's not even that crazy. Why you know? don't I do that? That's well, only like fifteen hundred dollars. The rate's higher. The, the 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 catch is the interest rate is higher for the actual thirty year. Yeah. Oh, I see. So they hide it in there. Yeah. Got it. Because I was so like, what what does that look like? <laughs> so like so like when when I was looking at it, it was uh, like a, a normal rate was like six point two. At that time, it's like a couple months ago. Uh, the more average mortgage range was six points. Two five and the lo the the mortgage rate for that loan we, with the using that loan is like seven point almost one percent over more. Yeah, it's so not it, too bad. No, yeah. that's not worth it. It's I, not I, yeah, worth it. I don't no. think it's worth it. Yeah, no. uh. because if it was just a one uh, percent over the thirty years, you're talking about fifteen hundred dollars. I would do that in a heartbeat. Yeah, instead of putting fifteen grand. Oh, uh, I but see. when you're talking about one percent every month, then that's like. Maybe two hundred bucks, four hundred bucks more a yeah. month. Yeah. Or, uh, the, or we have that's one program, and the other program is kind of similar to the Dream for All. Because you know, remember Dream for yes. All, you you were able to borrow and use the closing costs. Uh, there's also another program like that where uh, you pay when you sell your house, same thing. Yeah. Uh, but up to three percent they'll lend you. Yeah. Which is which is almost like the the closing costs, but they also also the fee hidden in there like one point five. So technically, you're only getting one one and a half percent of the loan yeah which still helps so closing costs. uh bottom line is you can get closing costs for free whether it's negotiations or, lowered, yeah. or from programs but it has to be the right time and it's rare yeah because normally when people buy homes it's not during that right time yeah it's when everyone else wants to buy so when everyone else wants to buy these things don't exist yep okay so it has to be the right time guys um and and in the right market just remember so nothing yeah there's not remember nothing is free nothing is no, free nothing but is also free. nothing is impossible yes so that's it um so that's it for closing costs uh, i hope we explained it a lot to you guys if you have any more questions drop in the comments and we can try and clarify or answer those for you uh we're gonna move into the next episode which is what justin it is is buying a single family home better or a condo Ooh, Ooh because some have hoas and some don't yeah all right so you'll hear that on the next episode, guys, and we'll see you there.